No, definitely exceeding my, exceeding my expectations because I'm in another like coaching program. I feel way more confident just, just doing it your way. So. My name is Jimmy Fung and in today's video, I'll be breaking down a live coaching call that I had earlier this week with someone that I'm working with. His name is Alex and pretty much he runs a landing page agency. He helps different businesses redesign their websites, build landing pages, stuff like that. Um, so if you have an hour, this video is around an hour long, the coaching call. If you have an hour, uh, please spend the next hour just watching this video. It will probably be one of the most valuable videos that you can watch to spend your time on. Uh, in this live coaching call, I break down how to come up with this offer, how to craft the offer, how to write the cold emails, and I explain to him my thought process behind him, right? So for myself, this video, I think, is very helpful for you uh, for two reasons, right? Number one, to show you kind of how I go about approaching crafting offers and writing successful cold emails that just pretty much prints in meetings. And I think the second part is, let's say you're running a lead generation agency, right? You're helping different businesses book meetings using cold emails. You could use what I explained in this video to help you get results for your clients, right? Because this guy, Alex, he's not running a lead generation agency. He's running a website design business. He's running a landing page agency. So give this video a watch. It's super, super valuable. Uh, and if you're an existing business owner, you have your own business and you're looking to get started with cold emails, this is, I, I personally think this is very valuable for you as well because I show you how to exactly do this. Right now, I do offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Pretty much, I help people go from zero to $10,000 a month by building their own lead generation agency. But I don't just help those people looking to build their own agencies. I also help existing businesses who are looking to book more meetings and get more sales using cold emails, right? So for example, if let's say you tried cold emails in the past and just never got results, uh, maybe you bought someone else's course and it just never worked, or maybe you just gave it a shot or you just don't know how to do it, this video will be very helpful for you as well. But for those of you on the other side who are looking to start your own lead generation agency, uh, I do provide one-on-one -on -one guidance. I try to make everything I know uh, I explain everything I know and I give it away completely for free on YouTube because I personally don't think selling information is smart. I personally think it's pretty stupid to be honest with you. Uh, and the reason people work with me is kind of exactly what I outlined in the coaching call, right? People want direct help from myself. They want to build their own agencies, go from zero to $10,000 in a relatively short period of time. Now, obviously, if you watch these videos, you watch the different stuff on my YouTube channel, you will be able to build your own business and make money, right? As long as you take action, that is. Uh, but a lot of people, they don't want to go about figuring these things out themselves. They don't want to spend half a year, nine months, 12 months, two years maybe, uh, trying to make this work. So that's kind of why they work with me because I help them accelerate the journey. I give them guidance, stuff like that. Uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below. I also do have an Instagram page where I share more business insights directly related to building an agency, making cold emails work, and just the mindset that you kind of need to approach business with in order to succeed. So I break down a lot more stuff on my Instagram, so give that a follow, go check that out. Uh, I will also link my calendar down below in the description. If you're interested in working with me, uh, then book a time, let's chat. But that's what I wanted to say in this video. Hope you enjoy it and hope you found it valuable. Goodbye. Yeah. That's good. Do, do you end up closing the client? No, it's they're in Finland. It's like a very e-com brand. And it was a guy and a woman. I think the guy liked me, but the woman was kind of har harder. And they didn't, I basically for e-com brands, I build on Replo and they didn't know Replo. It connects to Shopify. So they need to review. And I, I'm I'm trying to work out with e-com people retainer fee as well. Like, like charging $2,200 for a landing page. But then if you want many more pages, then a retainer fee. And I can kind of build like as many as you want per month. So I had, they, they, they were like explaining to me, but then I, I don't know if you do this, but with them at the end of the call, I kind of made them confirm a second call is like, if you're not going to pay now, then I want to make sure we have like, I said, hey, let's have a follow-up call like same time next week. And then the guy was like, yeah, let's do it. The one woman was like, yeah, yeah, okay, sure. So that's kind of my strategy now. Like if if somebody doesn't buy right away on my Stripe, just getting that second call and they can still flake, but you know, it's better. I figured. A hundred percent, man. Yeah, no, uh, that's kind of what I do too. So like at the end of the calls, what I try to do is I try to go for one call closes because it's just the most efficient use of my time, right? Because realistically, 
what I realized is when people jump on these calls, there's really just three camps of people. The first one is people who come onto the call, they're ready, they have a problem, they know you have a solution and they just want to see if your specific solution could help them out in that situation. And if you could prove that they can, they're ready to get started, right? So that's kind of the first group of people. The second group of people are people who um, they're just kind of like interested in learning more. They have some form of problem. They're a little bit interested, but they're not really ready to move on it. Even if there was a really good solution, they're just kind of like seeing what's out there. And then the third type of people are power kickers, people who are just trying to milk you for free information. Basically, they want to, they want to learn about it, but they don't want to pay to, you know, they don't want to pay for the service and they're trying to figure it out. Realistically, those people will not figure it out anyways, uh, because, you know, they could find this stuff up on YouTube if they wanted to, right? But obviously they're not implementing it, which is why they're trying to get free information. Um, so really what we're looking for is people in the first two camps, more specifically the people in the first camp, because that's the people who you will be able to close after 30 minutes or 40 minutes. The people in the second group, uh, you just kind of have to follow up with them, but a lot of it is timing, right? They're just, they're really interested, but some other external factor is causing them not to do it. Um, timing of the year, they don't have funds, they don't have budget, stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of the two groups of people. Um, but you just have to figure out if they're in the third group, the tire kickers, you just have to disqualify them off the call right off the bat and stuff like that. Um, but that's even kind of why for myself, right? My own strategy is I'm creating a ton of content explaining how it works so that even before I book in a call, I'm very like, I'm basically saying, if you just want to learn more information, all of it is on my YouTube. Just take a look at that so that we're saving your time and we're saving my time. So I don't have to explain this stuff. It's all on my YouTube. You could probably do something similar as well and just redirect it to people who are showing interest to politely say, hey, if you're just looking for more information, I have these videos over here. Take a look at that. Uh, if you want to learn how I can help you, this is what this call is for, right? So that's probably what you could do as well. Yeah, I, I took your advice. I updated some more video, uploaded some more videos on my YouTube yesterday. Just people can see my face and just in tutorials and talking more about my content. So awesome, man. Great work. Great work. Um, so cool. So in terms of your niche and your offer, uh, just to clarify, uh, what would your niche be and who are the people that you'd be looking to work with? Okay, so I wrote it down yes yeah, last night. So so I do landing pages, so I can pretty much do it for everyone. So like, I understand sometimes e-commerce businesses will have, there could be more consistent work, even more money. Uh, from what I see, like, you know, e-commerce people, they kind of just, they're ready to just throw the money at me versus like, if it's a service business, especially if it's just like a one guy or startup, yeah, might take multiple calls. So, but I wrote it down, like basically like, like in your Apollo video, what you did with the marketing Agency, agency, I copied those same filters you did. So pretty much all agencies, SaaS to e-com, all uh, real estate agents too. I like to I like to learn how to like find them. Uh, even dentists, doctor offices, cafes. I figure you like there's fucking cafes nowadays that all have a website, a landing page. Yeah. So even cafes, restaurants, uh, even like warehousing companies, trucking companies. Like I'm sure there's companies that like warehousing companies like. It's a growing thing. They need websites too, landing pages, coaches. Like, like I had I had one client who was a financial trading coach. One also who was a basketball coach. So just coaches. But I saw an Apollo. Like I wasn't really sure if like coaches were coming up. So coaches, all types, and like you know, like toys, furniture, which all falls under ecom. Mm -hmm. So it's like it, it could pretty much like be really any any type of business. Uh, but like. You know, I, I think, you know, maybe we can segment into like, okay, e-com, service, SaaS, coaches, real estate, like, you know, I guess separate searches or separate scripts for them. But technically like e-com, all e-com businesses could have the same email script, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the way it would work is because what you're doing, it's so relevant to a lot of people in a bunch of different industries. Uh, obviously, when we're reaching out, we want to be very specific in terms of we're only reaching out to, let's say, agencies or SaaSs or e-com brands rather than having all three in the same cold email campaign. Um, for specific things, you could be a little bit more specific in how you call them out. There's a couple of different strategies that we could do it that we'll use that we'll cover in this call today. Um, the main idea, however, is we are leveraging 
sales assets. So more specifically, we're leveraging a VSL. That's kind of the secret strategy that I have used that I've found the most success. Um, so we'll cover that in this video as well. Uh, but depending on what you say inside that VSL. So what I recommend personally is to reach out to only one of these industries at a time. You can obviously do more, but then you would probably, it'd be probably smarter to create different landing pages uh, and different VSLs, but that might take too much time up front. Um, so what I recommend is for example, just picking one of these industries, let's say agencies, gearing up your landing page, specifically calling out agencies, your VSL specifically agencies, reaching out to that group of people. And then after, let's say you either burn through that entire list of agencies that might take you a while. So probably not, but let's say half a year from now, three months from now, whatever, right. You either have a lot of clients. So you have a lot of cash or you run through that list. Then you could probably look into SASs and e-coms and stuff like that. But I'd probably upfront just focus on one specific market so that you could call it out specifically and have a similar message inside your VSL and inside your landing page and inside your copy, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Like you could obviously target two or three of these. You would just need to replicate that and do it two or three times. So have two landing pages if you're doing two industries or three landing pages if you're doing three industries and three separate VSLs. But obviously if you're really, really busy right now, the quickest path for you to make money is just focus on one. And then once, let's say you have, you sign a client or two clients and you have $5,000 cash, then you could probably create a set, second one, a second landing page, a second VSL in congruent and do two at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay. Then you know what? Yeah. Let's, let's start with agencies because for agencies, I build on Framer and I'm good at Framer and Replo, but I'm, I'm for me, Framer now is very fast. So I know like, if if I can get like clients, I can just get the work done a lot faster. A hundred percent. Okay. So agencies, that's a good one. That That's a really large market. Uh, I've done a lot of research on that myself because I used to reach out to different forms of agencies. Um, mm -hmm. So in terms of your offer, kind of what you have right now, preliminary, uh, I, I kind of went on your website, your, your own landing page, by the way, it's designed very beautifully. Uh, and I kind of copied this, right? These two different scripts. So I think I got this from your, your Twitter bio and I got yeah. this, I pulled this from your landing page. It's very good in terms of what you do, but we probably, especially for the cold email copy, because we'll be taking this specific offer and putting it inside the email that you're sending. Let's narrow this down a little bit more. Um, the, the framework, so obviously this is really, really good. The framework that I typically recommend to people is something like this. Uh, we help and then your audience do and then your results in time frame using unique mechanism or risk reversal. So this is kind of the template that I typically for specifically for cold emails at least, right? This is how you would say it because it's very it's just a a time tested formula that makes whoever reads it, they understand exactly what you do and how you help them. It's just very clear and it cuts through all like the bullshit, right? Um, so in terms of what you do, right? Uh, let's build this out together, right? Obviously I could write this whole thing out for you, but I want to make sure that you understand it. And in the future, you're able to apply it for other industries as well, right? So obviously we help, right? Agencies, correct? Agencies, yeah. And then inside that group of agencies, uh, there's a bunch of different sub niches, right? So there's like obviously marketing agencies, software development agencies, recruiting agencies, PR firms as technically a, a agency as well. Which group of those people would you like to focus on, I guess, up front, just from your research? And you could play around with this, but any anything, any group in specific? I mean, I guess we could say marketing agencies, but like, yeah, marketing agencies or even like, Cause it's so broad, like, okay, like SAS is very specific, but SAS is probably the smallest of them. Right. Like SAS startups, mar marketing agencies, but like, like, what is it, is it too generic to just say agencies? Like, yeah, it is really generic. Um, it's really generic. So it's kind of unspecific, but I think more than that, because we're able to narrow it down, um, it will help you with your lead scraping process as well. Because underneath agencies, there's a bunch of other shit, right? Like really, really large markets. So inside my own lead generation agency where I do a done for you service, I work with recruitment agencies, right? So that is my kind of niche on the agencies. There's marketing agencies, right? There's software dev, right? 
there's, and there's like a bunch of other shit that like I, I just can't really think of it on the spot right now but there's a bunch of them and these are all different sub niches that you could go into what i will say is these three industries i have personal experience booking calls in them and i will say all of them needs your service to a degree right like that that's just kind of the facts so that's the good news and i think what makes this really good as well is your market is really large so the worst type of problem you can have is you don't have enough people to reach out to, right? Your market physically doesn't have a thousand people and there's only 500 people. So if you go through all 500, you reach out and they're just not interested, well, you're kind of fucked because you have no one else to sell your service to. Um, so I think that's a really good thing. Up front, you want to just be a little bit more specific than this. It becomes a little bit more relatable, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I would say top three, because I had one client recently, they're, they're a lead gen agency, cold calling. So I would say, okay, let's do marketing agency lead gen and recruitment agency like these top top three to start with so yeah, okay. yeah. sure and um, lead gen so like they also do cold cold email like you so cold calling or cold email they can do um so yeah we help okay so we help marketing agencies we can say either like increase sales and reduce ad spend or increase increase client acquisition like what do you think like i usually say increase sales because it's like sounds more direct mm -hmm. okay so sales. in terms of landing pages what would you say is a tangible result that you could tie to it so obviously increasing sales um conversions i'd be, I'd be curious to hear how does that work from your perspective right um it would inc it would probably be more so on the nurturing aspect of things. So people know who you are, they come across your website. Uh, like, would it help with increasing sales conversions? What does that kind of look like in your perspective? Yeah, because basically it's one copywriting using more benefit rich copywriting with, there's a VSL usually if they're willing to do VSL about us, a fact fre frequently asked questions, which is always missing. And then a big thing is process. So like, you know, what is the pro the process of working with us? And I usually have it in like four or five steps. So people like see, okay, what's it like? Okay, mm -hmm. step one, two. So like it's it's basically all line in landing pages, especially for services. They need this framework. They need all the pieces, like a nice hero with a bold hook, VSL benefits, reviews, a lot of reviews and testimonials if possible. So it's kind of, it's kind of just having this structure that kind of does everything. It builds social proof. It builds trust. It builds authority. Um, it shows people that you can, your business can solve their problem and need in a very clear and effective way. hundred percent, man. That makes sense. I'd be curious to hear. So let's say the people who are working with you, if I'm buying your service, right? Obviously there's a very tangible end result on buying, right? Like, obviously I like the landing page, but I don't really care like that, right? I'm but working with you to build out the landing page so that I could get more sales, right? Or so I could come off as more trustworthy or have more credibility or have a more professional message, something like that. What would you say you've seen from your current clients? Why do people kind of work with you? What is kind of the tangible end result that they'd be looking for? For me, I think it's my testimonials and my case studies. Like usually I'm getting less of it, but especially in the beginning when I started out, people are always asking, hey, have you built this skincare website? Have you done a food website? Have you done like, mm -hmm. so like the businesses, they're like, have you done my specific website? Like the, the sales call today, it's a very, they do berries. And they're like, have you worked right. with the food before? And I said, no, I haven't, but it's all the same framework. So I work with the skincare brand recently and your page honestly is the exact same structure. We're just changing the images and text. And then I think 100%. they were more sold on. A hundred percent. And their goal from changing up, like, I guess the website and building a landing page would be to help them make more money then, correct? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. So we could call that out specifically. Um, it will help them make more money. So that's kind of your offer, right? We help you make more money. Mm -hmm. We help you make more money. And how does it help you make more money, right? What is that process that takes me from where I am right now towards making more money? And how does landing pages facilitate that? So, okay, so we can say we help you make more money by building you an aesthetic and optimized landing page that that a page that's optimized for conversions and sales pretty much. So that's 
like is there more you want from that or is that like mm -hmm. that's, yeah yeah that's... what i'm kind of looking for is okay so we identified the end goal which is making money we know how you will do it which is building landing pages but how will landing pages specifically help me make more money so for example for my own offer the leech and stuff right that tangible end result is i will help you make more money how will i do it is by sending cold emails helping you book meetings but how will booking meetings lead you to making more money? It's very clear, right? Like I am putting more sales opportunities for you to sell more. And if you pitch more people, then you will make more money, right? So that process is very clear. What I'm looking for from you uh, is more specifically, how will a landing page directly or indirectly, right? Uh, lead to more money for these business owners, right? And it could be anything. Obviously you understand it much better than me. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm asking about that. Okay, so then can we say like, okay, so by building your landing page that is optimized to to build your trust, credibility, social proof, and authority, because because that that's it at the end of the day, right? Like that, those are the pieces that your landing page needs, and then the rest, you know, from your traffic, whatever. Once people, by the time they get to your page, if you have all those points, then they're more ready to book a call or take the next step. A hundred percent. And I completely agree with you. Right. So for myself, if I was looking to, I guess, work with you, right. The main reason why I would do that is because number one, so the problem, the pain point that I have right now is I have a landing page, right. Landing page, but it is terrible. Right. So mine is not that good, but it, it gets the job done. Right. Obviously I understand that it could be optimized. Right. So that might be the first reason I'm working with you because I just want to make it better. Make make it better, right? Or more professional, I guess we could say. The second pain point is um, maybe I don't look that professional right now. I don't look that professional, right? If I am working with companies that make a million dollars a month, right? I'm reaching out to these companies, then obviously I want to put something together that puts me of I don't know if equal status is the word, but something credible, right? Like you obviously can't look like you're sitting in your mom's basement approaching these million dollar companies asking for $5,000 a month, right? It's not going to work, right? So stuff like that. Um, so those would be my two reasons. Uh, I think this is very, very good. Um, you will help them make more money by building landing pages that increase trust, authority, and credibility with a target audience. So that is the tangible result. Now, obviously you're doing landing pages, right? But when we are reaching out to people because we are marketers, we want to pique their curiosity. So right off the bat, do you have a creative name for the system? Like we could use the word landing page, but it doesn't create too much curiosity. Everyone knows what that is, right? We want to use a, we want to give a name for the system basically, right? That creates more intrigue and curiosity. Right off the bat, do you have anything like that that you could kind of think of? So like me and my associates, we just say like the high converting landing page framework. Gives you that. That's it. Using our high conversion landing page framework. Okay, cool. Uh, we could call it. So, okay, so this is decent. It's not bad. Um, we could probably be a little bit more. Create a little bit more uniqueness. We could. You could probably. Okay, so what you have to do after this call actually is um just go and spend like ten minutes and just write like the first few names that come up to your mind, right? Because this one is good, but it also doesn't create too much intrigue, right? Like it just tells them what it does. You could probably write something like, I'm just spinning out ideas, right? You might, you could use it, maybe not, right? If it's terrible, uh, you could write something like- um, Like smooth, smooth sale framework, or like- Yeah, because I'm. or you could write so, something like social proof, nurturing framework system or something like that, um, right? Something unique, right? Because when I say social proof nurturing system, it doesn't really say what it is and you'd be you'd be more curious about it, right? Because I'm not telling you directly how I help you. I'm just using the system, right? Or you could say something like um, uh, audience, audience nurturing, audience authority system, something like that, that you give it a name which explains kind of what it does, but not really, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Does that make yeah. sense for you? Yeah, it does. So like, yeah, kind of, it says enough, but it leaves some kind of mystery. Exactly. So just to plug this in then, we help marketing agencies make more money by building a landing page that will increase with the target audience using our, right, system. 
right? And then in terms of kind of a risk reversal. So a lot of people here either use a guarantee. Um, you don't necessarily need to, uh, but do you have a guarantee inside your own business right now or not at all? No, I did in the beginning, but I, I, I don't anymore. It's just. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific reason why you removed it? Is it like just challenging to work with these people? Uh, how does that work? Like, like I realized at the end of the day, like you can't like you can say like of course the conversions will increase, but to say like yeah, I'm going to guarantee you like five percent or six percent or eight percent conversions, like it's very, Tough. it's a very like hard number, and it, does it, even with this like super optimized page, it's there's other factors involved still besides the page being optimized. So it's like, if the page is really shit, then yeah, the conversions are gonna, are gonna prove. Okay, like, uh, you know what, let's say, um, no, I, I do guarantee this. I can guarantee like 30% increasing conversions. That's doable, 30%. Like 60% is really high, but like usually like my pages, will, you'll be, you're gonna convert more from 20 to 50%. So we can say like guarantee a 30% increase in conversions. That's, that's easy. I can guarantee that. Okay, so in terms of an offer, so it's really good you say that. So you would want to test this specific offer inside your cold email message. So obviously you could say, we help marketing agencies make more money, but you could also test, we help marketing agencies increase sales conversions by 30%, right? You see how that is even better than saying we make money, right? We make more money because it's a very tangible outcome. So we help marketing agencies increase sales conversion by 30%. Or whatever number you want to use, right? Um, make more money, right? Uh, by by building a landing page that will increase, and then we could probably remove this, right? By increasing, by increasing trust, authority, and credibility with their target audience using our social proof nurturing system, right? Uh, and you could probably test around with some form of guarantee. What I could recommend to you is for what you do, you could probably put something like, and if you don't like it, we work for free or like we edit it or something until you like it, something along those lines. Um, okay, something like, or, or we work for free, right? You can play around with the specific words of how you want to say it, but this is the general framework. So uh, can you just, uh, Alex, can you just read this out loud and let me know what you think about it uh, in terms of your offer? Okay. We help marketing agencies increase sales conversions by 30% by increasing trust, authority, and credibility with your target audience using our social proof nurturing system. Or we work for, or we work for free. I could say like, or your money back or, or no, no, we usually will, and we'll work, or we'll work with you until you get there. Yeah, or we work with you until you get there. So like that, let's say that 30%. So my page is going to get you converting 30% at least, at minimum 30%, or I work with you until we get there, which is true because like it includes unlimited revisions. So 100%, man. So what do you think about this offer? Do you feel like it is a lot better in terms of that something you could use for outreach? Uh, does, you know, we spent like 30 minutes doing, talking about this. Do you feel like, this 30 minutes was well spent on crafting your offer. Yeah, I think it's awesome because it's it's very specific and quantifiable. I'm thinking even using this in my Twitter bio, well, like just, you know, taking out the marketing agency part, I could say like businesses for Twitter. I got to keep it more generic, but yeah, for, yeah. Uh, modified per campaign for audience. But yeah, this is, this is really good. I like it. I, I, I did say like, you know, I used to say like 2X sales, but then it was like, okay, I'm my, I have a VSL actually in my VSL. I think I say 30%. 100%. You could test around with it, especially for the cold email stuff, because we're doing so, because we're getting so many people on your business, like attention on your business. It's very easy to test things. So that's kind of why I like cold emails as well, because you're able to test different variables and get results because of the sheer volume that is looking at it. Like you see really quickly, so for example, if you are, I don't know, sending DMs or something, right? You're sending 50 DMs. It's very hard to test different variables because you're only able to, let's say, get results for 50 people every single day. And it'll take you a week to find out and get enough volume to get an accurate presentation. With emails, it's very quick because if you're sending two or 3,000 emails and it just doesn't work compared to a different angle, then you have two to 3,000 people of worth of data 
to pivot. So it's very easy and it's very quick for you to determine what works best and what could be improved. Um, but this is kind of your offer. Uh, we'll be taking this and using it for the actual code, you know, code email copy, right? So we could talk about the lead list afterwards. Uh, I want to, you know, we have 30 minutes. So I want to talk more specifically about the code email copy um, and how you could uh, incorporate your offer into the code email copy, right? So I'm just gonna paste this out here. This is your offer and what you do. Right. So obviously there are these five different frameworks. I talk about it in the video, in the different videos. Um, basically what you want to do is when you're first launching your code email campaigns, you want to take your offer and plug it into each of these five frameworks within each of them. There's different variables you want to test. Like for example, the names of your systems, right? Uh, the specific offer, whether you want to say increase sales conversion by 30% or you want to say increase your sales by 2x, like you mentioned, or you want to say making more money, what, whatever that is, those are different variables you want to test within each of these five frameworks. Now, obviously they're here. What I want you to do is you don't want to just copy and paste it blindly. I want to, I want you to understand why it works specifically so that in the future, you know, half a year from now, a year from now, two years from now, you're still able to do this yourself. And if you switch offers or something or try to sell other services, you're still able to do this, right? So I want to work. So obviously each of these five have the frameworks. Um, I want to walk through this, the first one specifically for you. And after this call, I want you to go ahead. Um, I'll send you the link to this notion and I want you to fill in the blanks. And then after that, we could review it, make any changes, stuff like that. How does that sound, man? Yeah, sure. Just this first one for like client, how do you, how do you do that at scale? Or is that you just pick one client and then like, like, is some, like notice the company name, which takes from the name, but it's similar to client. So like, is that just any random client I pick or company? Yeah. Or... So you, the best part is, is do you know, do you know what a spin tax is or not really? No, I think it's, it's like when you take from like the, the name, like, Hey name, Hey first name or no. Yeah. So basically what a spin tax is, is since we are sending a lot of emails every single day, let's say a thousand to keep it simple, right? You obviously deliverability is one of the most important things, right? Because even if you have all of this down, you have a killer offer, the right copy, but if your emails are landing in spam, it's not going to do anything. So one of the biggest things you can do to improve your deliverability is to do a strategy called spin tax. Essentially, it jiggles up your email, the specific words that you use so that no two emails, no three emails, no four emails are the exact same word for word. Because obviously, if you were to send emails manually, like you open up Gmail, you open up Outlook and manually type out an email, it's not going to be the same, right? It might be similar, but different words will be used. So that is kind of what spin tax is. It's, it jiggles up, you give it multiple options. So for example, if your offer is, um, we help you do the X, Y, and Z in 30 days, spin tax one might say in 31 days, spin tax two might say in 27 days, spin tax three might say 29 days. So that's those specific things you'd be changing so that your email is not the exact same. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. So in specifically to your question, uh, you can spin tax the case study. If I, I saw on your website, you have multiple. That's good because let's say you have three different case studies, for example, that's three different spin taxes, three different emails that you will be using. Uh, and then obviously, depending on what that is, if there's one that clearly performs better than the other because the result is just so much better, then you could obviously use that as well and scale that to the moon, I guess. Um, but that's kind of what that looks like, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I, I would say for agencies specifically, there's really one case study I have like, but currently, I mean, there, there's one, there's one I'm planning on finishing up who's kind of like an agency, but yeah. But okay. Maybe that. Got it. Okay. So that's a really good one to use. Um, I would suggest you have a talk with that, that client just to see if they are fine doing some form of testimonial. If not, uh, what you can do actually, and we could talk about this in more detail, part of the strategy that makes it really good. It's kind of the secret sauce that a lot of people don't understand, right? So obviously these are just frameworks, right? Anyone could write this framework, but what makes someone book a ton of meetings and get a lot of sales and someone who doesn't is not, it's not this, it's not the, the email copy, right? Cause anyone could write this. It's the VSL. So that's kind of the key because the VSL is, I could write the exact same copy as you, but the VSL is where you show your personality. And that's how you explain how you are able to get 
that agency from where they are right now to uh, increase conversion of 30%. So inside that VSL, you would want to highlight that case study, for example, right? But the way we do it is you don't want to just make a video saying, this is how we help John go from X to Y. You want to put it in the form of how we help an agency owner go from here to there using this process. And then you want to highlight that process, but then break down the specific way you do it, right? So you could, for example, for your offer, which is landing pages, you could screen record a video of you going onto that person's new landing page that you built, explaining, so this is what we did and this is why it works and this is what it does to increase conversions. So that's how you wanna do it. I'm putting together a video explaining how to create a really banger VSL. Usually these would be very long form. They would probably be somewhere between 20 minutes and 40 minutes, right? And the sole purpose of it is to explain your process in a lot of detail and we'll be leveraging it as a sales asset. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. Did you see my current VSL on I my did. site? Okay, I did. what do you think about it? It's really good because it drums up interest uh, for people. Um, there's different ways you want to do it. So obviously the one on your website is very short to the point. It doesn't take too much time. The For cold outreach, what we want to do is we want to explain the system in detail because what we're doing here, right, is um, part of the reason why this strategy works so well is because, again, anyone could anyone could steal this cold email copy and write the exact same thing as you, but not everyone could deliver. I could tell you that I'll make you a million dollars. That doesn't mean I can, right? So what people want to know is how can you specifically make me a million dollars, right? What is your specific process? And what you will need to do is you need to build trust with the people because you need to convince them, number one, that you can help them make a million dollars. And number two, you need to convince them that your process works, Right? And most people, they're missing number two, right? I could say anything, but I can't prove it. And by creating a really long VSL, you're able, when you break down your process specifically, you're able to convince them that your system is the one that takes them from where they are right now to where they want to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So for example, uh, inside my own lead gen offer, this is a little bit different. So you're going to have to think about how you can apply this for you, for your own business. But this is my initial VSL, right? Uh, it's 13 minutes long. I recorded this. It's pretty bad, actually, right? I just used my laptop um, camera, my laptop mic, and I didn't even edit the video, right? But pretty much it's a 13 minute video. The title is how we make it unreasonable for agencies and service businesses to not sign three to five clients, right? So it's it was 13 minutes. Basically, you see, as you, oops, there's an ad, uh, pretty annoying. But basically, um, I created a flowchart explaining the process, right? So I was selling cold emails as a system. Inside this video, I was talking about these are the specific things that I would do for you and how will it help? Like you see how I'm breaking down the tiny aspects, the seemingly tiny parts of the system and explaining how it works. Wow. Right. Yeah, so 30 minutes, that's long. Yeah, this yeah. one is relatively short. And obviously knowing what I know now, I would do some things slightly different. But what the reason why I'm showing you this one specifically is because it's just really bad and it's still printed meetings, right? Because that's how powerful this system is. It doesn't even have to be perfect as long as you are able to explain what you do, who you do it for, and you break down specifically your system, then it will work. So I'm actually putting a, together a video explaining in detail, knowing what I know now, how to make a really good VSL that just prints meetings. Um, but this is kind of how that looks like. And you're going to need to create one for your own offer uh, to do this, right? So yours might be how we make it unreasonable for agencies to increase sales conversions by 30% by building, by, you know, uh, building trust, credibility, authority, stuff like that. And in that video, you'd be talking about your process for building a landing page and you would walk through the agency client show them this is an example of an agency, another agency we're working with. This is what their before landing page looks like. This is what it looks like after working with us. And the reason why it will increase credibility, trust, and authority is because of this, that, and the other thing. Does that make sense? Okay, so I, I need to make a new VSL then also. The, the current one is not going to work for cold email. That's right. Okay. So and I what guess, you can do... Sorry, you could go. Well, I'm guessing, yeah, so like this one will be for agencies... And we can probably use it for all the agencies. And then when we get to e-commerce later, we can do, I'll have to do another one for e-commerce, right? That's right. Okay. 
that's kind of what I mean, right? Like when I said it's easier to choose one niche up front, it's not easier in the sense where you can't do two or three. It's easier in the sense we're putting this together, it, like putting this VS, like planning it, recording it, and this stuff, it'll probably take you three or four hours to do in total. And if you're trying to make money quickly, as in like the next few weeks, your time is better spent spending three, four hours making this for one niche and then just reaching out to that niche as opposed to making three versions of this and spending three days doing it. You know what I mean, right? But then down the line, you could, once you have more time, you're able to create three of these at the same time, you'd be good to go, right? But up front, I don't want to like overwhelm you with just a bunch, too much stuff to do basically um, and cause you to procrastinate or taking too long on unnecessary things. Does that make sense? Yeah, so just just do one. And like this graph, did you do that in Figma or Fig Jam? Uh, I use something called Lucid. Um, so this is what I use. Uh, it's kind of like a flow chart type of thing uh, where you just design it. So this is like a flow chart, right? Uh, but okay. but that's kind of what that looks like. Um, and then I screenshotted that and pasted it onto a Google Docs, right? So as you can tell, right? Like I was using Google Docs. It wasn't even anything too fancy. Uh, and this VSO just cooked. So, <laughs> so you're just going to have to think about how to do it for yourself. On our next call, we'll talk specifically about how to create the VSL. I'm, again, I'm making a video right now talking about how to make a killer VSL. I want you to come up with the idea and then we could talk about it on the next call before you actually record it, some tweaks, some things like that. But for today's call, I know we have like 15 minutes left. I want to use the rest of this to talk about the email script, right? So bringing it back to this, um, what you wanna do basically is for each of these frameworks, you wanna plug in your offer. Right. So um, you would say something like, hey, John, and then you would write this. Right. Mm -hmm. You plug it in. And then in terms of the CTA, what we're doing is we're using something called the value CTA. So this VSL strategy is a value CTA. What we're saying to these people for your offer, it might say something like, um, so you're explaining to them how you could increase sales conversion by 30 percent as your offer. Right. So that's the first thing you say. Your CTA might say something. So John, mind if I share with you a quick video explaining how we increase sales conversions by 30%. You can say something like that. Mind if I share this with you. You see how you're not asking for anything? You're giving. Like it's a very unreasonable ask. I'm saying, hey, Alex, I will show you how to make a million dollars using our system. Mind if I share with you a quick video explaining how that works. You know, so okay, so I want to you, uh, yeah, I want to ask you for the sales asset, the lead magnet. I have what I do giveaways. I have... um. Notion file with like a lot of Loom videos of tutorials and templates. Could that be fine? Like, hey, here's, I made this like guide on how to build like an optimized landing page. And it's for services, either opt-in or regular with the CTA. Could that work, that Notion file with the tutorials? Okay, what I would recommend you do is inside this sales asset, it would be your VSL. So for mine, so in the background of this YouTube video, you know how mine is how we make it unreasonable for service businesses to not sign three to five clients monthly. My offer, when I reach out to people, it might say, we help marketing agencies sign three to five clients monthly using X, Y, and Z. Mind if I share with you a quick video showing you how this works, how we help you sign three to five clients. When they reply yes, we send them a link to this YouTube video. This is the VSL. They would not everyone will watch the whole thing, but the people who do watch the whole thing, they know who you are, they like you, they trust you, and they're pre-warmed. And it's a very easy close when they jump on a sales call. For your specific thing, you would do something similar. You would make a VSL. Your title would be how we increase sales conversions by 30%, how we help XYZ increase sales conversion by 30%. In that VSL, you would break down your entire process specifically for agencies. You would pull an agency case study inside that VSL and you would send that. For your Notion trainings, that's very good for even more warming up. So let's say you send this stuff out. People are interested. You send out the YouTube link. People then book a call with you. What you can then do is you could attach those training videos or that Notion. You could actually make a Notion, um, like a public website. I actually did that for my own agency um, where I put in a bunch of like testimonials or more additional videos. And then I published it as a website and I included it and I sent it off kind of as you know those follow-up emails when you're booking a call? It says, hey, hey, Alex, our call is starting in an hour. Like, you know those email reminders? Mm -hmm. So inside those email reminders, I actually attached a notion with videos explaining the process, explaining how it works, and that's what you want to do, if that makes sense. Okay.
right? Because now okay. those videos is they're reaching people who are interested. They booked a call with you, right? But they need more trust. They need more trust that you're the man who could get them where they need to be. And there's no better way to do that than by saying, hey, John, not only do we have this video explaining how it works, but we have five other videos breaking down even in more detail with additional value for you, right? Or case studies. You can make case studies of other industries that this has worked for. That's really, really good. Um, but that's what you would do. Does that make sense, Alex? Yeah, it does. And I have a really good testimonial from one of my other coaches, Mike. He's, he's also a landing page agency, but it was basically one of his agency client that I built the page for or something, and I can use that agency page and then his the thing is i don't have any of the stats from the agency page so but i have the page that i can show and then his testimonial that can, and that, that would go in the vsl as well right with the flow chart yep like so i'm just gonna pull up something to show you um sorry just give me a quick minute um and, and i do my editing in descript mm -hmm. is, that, is that what you do use as well uh, is that the video editing software? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. So, okay, let me just show you. So in terms of you asked me a bit about, you have a notion with more videos. This is personally mine uh, for my own lead gen agency. This is more pre-warming stuff. So after people book a call, I let you create a page that says, wait, do not show up unless you have watched this video below and reviewed the resources. This is my VSL right? The VSL that you will create. And then obviously I made these videos private, but these are additional resources that explains how I, how I, how it works, right? How appointment setters work, how to generate three to five clients every single month. And these are videos I put on my YouTube, right? I upload them on YouTube so they're public. Anyone can see them, right? But you see how if so a brand that I'm working with, they want to book more meetings with cold emails. I'm explaining the process, but I'm using these things to extra social proof, right? If you're curious, you might see this and it's like, oh, how did this guy book a call with Amazon and Gymshark? Let me watch this video. And by them watching the video, they will become even warmer. They will like you more, understand how it works better, stuff like that. And you're just building a lot more trust and then about what we do, stuff like that. My YouTube channel, right? Like you understand how this works? Yeah. That's, how do you do the thumbnails? Is that Canva? Yeah, I use I use Canva. Um, yeah, I use Canva. It pretty much, I just you just want to play around with it. The key, what I realized on my YouTube channel that is helping me grow quicker, is I am putting thumbnails with just myself, and then like I started moving away from kind of these thumbnails, right? Of like these are pretty bad thumbnails. Um, and I started creating thumbnails that are more like this, right? And it takes me like ten minutes, so it's relatively quick. Um, but that's what I do. Yeah. And the photos you just take on your laptop? Uh, on my phone, yeah. On oh, your phone, okay. Yeah. So that's kind of what you want to do um, for this. Um, so I guess for you, Alex, uh, I know we talked about a lot of stuff to make sure that you know what you need to do in order to make money in the quickest way possible. The first thing that you need to focus on, so we have your offer, we have your niche, that's all good. What I want to do with you for the next call, so come into the next call with these things ready. I want you to go back and apply the scripts to all five of these frameworks, right? So plug and play your things in. Um, I think on the next call, don't just copy it. I want you to explain to me why you wrote what you wrote. So it doesn't have to be anything too crazy, but just plug it in and explain to me why you think it works. I'll validate it or I'll give you input or feedback, whatever that looks like and get started on your VSL. So I'm putting together a video explaining how it works. Once that is good, I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you over a message. Take a look at that and get started on your VSL, right? It doesn't have to be completed or anything in full. Uh, just have kind of like, I guess, a wireframe of what you want to talk about, stuff like that, right? And then we could build that out together in more detail. Um, and to give you more clarity, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know how helpful this is for you because this is typically more for people I help who are building lead gen agencies, but I built, I'll share with you this notion. You can take a look at this, but I basically put together kind of a flow chart explaining the process for how you would book meetings using cold emails and some optimal timelines. Now, obviously this is for my own business, lead gen agencies. It's going to be a little bit different for you, but you could also make in your VSL something similar like this explaining. Okay. So 
the clients that you work with after they pay on the sales call, what is the first thing? Is the onboarding call? After the onboarding call, what do you talk about? What are the next steps and things like this? And break down your service specifically. So this is what I have inside my own VSLs talking about how after people pay with me, I set up an onboarding call. On the onboarding call, we talk about XYZ. We then scrape leads. We then write the email copy. We then launch the cold email campaign, right? So you could put something like this together. Um, I'll share with you this notion right, right after this, actually. If you could drop your email in the chat, I'll send this over to you and you can make the edits. But do you have any questions about this, Alex? Well, yeah, so a couple. So I have um, I have a fig jam I did just like that. It's kind of like a flow chart. It's showing like the landing page, the elements in the landing page. And then, you know, for services, it's book a call, then like email reminders and then sales call and then get the client. So I'll share that with you as well. I want, if you can give me your thoughts. And then for the... For the framework here, like lead magnet one line, is this is this like email one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, these so like would the be mm -hmm. so the first email is is the lead magnet, and the second email is the one line. Uh that's no, actually. So the way it works is okay, so inside the email scripts that we're that we're writing, so just to give you some more background context, typically mm -hmm. how I would recommend it is email one. So email one would be any of these five. So this is all of yeah. these are email one and then email two, depending on your strategy, right? So one line, obviously um, it's a little bit different. For example, email two is a follow-up, bumping it up. Email three could be a case study if you have any, I know you do. So it'll be case study plus follow-up, right? Email four would be, could possibly be a pitch with a different angle, right? Different angle or a case study, right? It could be a case study, a uh, case study. And email five is your breakup email. So on that email five, it would be, um, hey, Alex, we reached out four times over the last two months. Um, let me know if your it sounds like, you know, figuring out how to increase your sales conversion is not a priority right now. Let me know if it changes in the future. Best of luck in your business, right? You might, you say something like that. Um, but all of these are email ones. So this is the, I guess we could call it the perspective of your email the angle that you'd be using for your pitch. Uh, and then the rest would be more follow-ups, right? But then you would mainly test these five things because the other ones are following up, right? So people would probably scroll up to the first email to see what you said if they never read it. Um, but these five are mainly for email one uh, and you would write different variations of it and then you would test it. And, and then what's in the follow-up email two? Yeah, uh, follow-up email two is usually just a generalized follow-up. You might use a slightly different angle. Um, so for example, if um, in this email, email one, right, you're talking about how you can increase sales conversion by 30%, mind if I share it over the video, email two might say, uh, hey, John, I saw you were the head of sales over at XYZ company. I thought this might be relevant to you. I recorded a video explaining how to increase sales conversions by 30%. Are you the right person to share this with? So your CTA, you'd be changing it a little bit, um, stuff like that but that's what your email two will be. So I guess for you specifically, uh, just focus more on email one right now because everything that you write in the follow-up emails will hinge mm -hmm. on what your first email will say, right? Because you want to change it up and you don't want to say the exact same thing, but that's what that would look like. Okay, all right. So just write out all the scripts for email one and then you want me to start the VSL as well or, or the assets for it, like, case study, the, the, That's the right. flow chart. Yeah, just put it together, throw it together in a Google Docs, just spend like an hour figuring it out. It doesn't have to be completed. And on the next call, um, I just need to see kind of the idea, right? Because there's very specific things you have to say and do to make the VSL work, right? It's not just a video explaining how it works, but I want you to, I'm gonna put together a video explaining that. I want you to just start on it and then I will give you feedback, things that I would do differently and what I have seen just works the best. And we'll talk about that on the next call. Okay, what I'll do is, uh, if it's fine, I'll put it into a Notion, a Notion page, because I'll put the video as well. So you have everything in mm -hmm. one place. Uh, maybe Google, I'll see Google Doc, whatever's, yeah, Google Doc or Notion, and I'll share with you. Awesome, Alex, cool. But uh, yeah, um, so before we wrap up this, this call, I just want to ask you some questions. Um, do you feel like this last 55 minutes, do you feel like it was well spent? Yeah, no, absolutely. I I thought it was going to be like, I mean, I guess leads are pretty straightforward to get. It's pretty simple. So I feel like this is a, this is a higher level of like 
just get going after it. I, I, I did see though, I think you uploaded the video. You have like a, how to write a dangerous VSL mm -hmm. in the circle. So you, you did upload the video, I think. Yeah, right. uh, that's kind of, uh, okay, so I started that category because I'm rebuilding a lot of these videos to add in more detail. Uh, I uploaded the example that I used, so this specific uh, this specific one, um, how we make it, and I uploaded it there uh, so that people are able to see, like, I think the main idea is a lot, of, <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people, they're very hesitant to create these VSLs because they tell, oh, I don't have a mic, I don't have a video, I don't know how to edit, but I uploaded it to show people that you can still cook without all of those things, right? As long as you follow the framework and you do it the right way, it will work, even if it's not like the best. Um, so that's why I did it. But I'm putting together a video last night. I was actually like up really late, putting together like this video. I think it'll be like an hour long, explaining specifically why it works, how you do it, the theory behind it, the strategy, stuff like that. Awesome. Well, I was going to ask, can you also please make a video on tutorial on how to do thumbnails? Because your thumbnails are like, I like the one that's easiest way to generate qualified leads. That's really, I like stuff like that. Awesome, man. Yeah, for sure. You can... I'll, I'll do that. Um, And uh, yeah, so uh, I guess the only other question I have is um, just so that I understand it, right? Um, So far, based on what you're seeing um, with this coaching cost, stuff like that, how does it match with your expectations? Do you feel like it's exceeding your expectations? It's okay. It's below your expectations. What does that look like so far? No, definitely exceeding my, exceeding my expectations because I'm in another like coaching program and they went over cold email, but that's cold email is not their forte. They've all their clients have been through inbound. So I feel like you, your whole thing is cold email. So you've already like from now in the beginning, you've been able to just go way deeper than, than them. So I, I feel way more confident just, just doing it your way. So yeah, I appreciate that. Okay. Awesome. Alex. Cool. I'll share with you over the notion. Just message me your email. I'll share it with you and appreciate your time today. Hope you found this helpful and we'll set up a time to talk about the VSL and all of those things. But thanks for your time today, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. Goodbye. See you.